like whole time back. She had dirt on her knees. She just came from sucking dick. I didn't even know. She just came from sucking dick. The white oh shit. Here we go again. Tell him what I did. You won't tell him I looked out for you a couple times when you couldn't pay your rent. You gon' lie and say I did it, I did it. You ain't gon' tell him I sent my step was to step on your behalf when you was beefing with them niggas. Had to lock in with myself, I had to focus on my business. I know you fucked my dog, but you still lied and said you did it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy OTF Hercules, and I'm back with another video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, man, as you can see from the title, I got stomped out over a thotty, bro. Today's video, I'm going to just hop straight to it. I'm not going to try and hold up too much of y'all time. Uh, if you can, show some love to the last video that I did. It was uh, I got expelled part one, and I did a reaction video. Uzi just want to rock. I'm not going to do too much talking in this. I see that y'all really wasn't fucking with the live shit, so I'm going to hold off on that till I get a better support system. Like, I got 312 subscribers, and it don't even feel like it. It's like, I don't have, it's like I got zero subscribers. Nobody's supporting. There's no comments. There's no like. I mean, there's likes, like four. There's really barely any likes. Barely any subscribing going on, you feel me? And I know it's not, uh, thing like i'm not gonna take off like that but it's like if you are one of the 312 supporters and you are somebody who's supporting me you say you fuck with me you say you're watching the video like i gotta see that like i gotta get more initiative out of the supporters i need like comments let me know what other videos you want me to do anything like that like i just need more support i need a support system from the supporters you feel me it's like i'm talking to myself kind of sometimes like there's no response but it's cool I'm gonna just keep doing me, being consistent, staying positive, motivated to do this YouTube thing. So like I said, I'm not gonna do too much talking. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what else you wanna see from me and I'm gonna hop straight into it, man. So listen, I am about to be eating, but I only got like a little bit left. This story time takes place. Once upon a time in 2016. Remember? My first fight, and my ass beat, yeah. Anyway, so I'm in 10th grade. I'm 16. I don't know, 15 finna be 16, 16 finna be 17. No, I'm bugging. I don't fucking know. I was like 15 or 16, so. <sighs> I went to Hand in Hand High. I was in high school, 10th grade. And like this year, for some odd reason, I was fucking with all the Border Bunny bitches, like nothing but hispanic hoes i was getting like the first bitch i talked to was hispanic the bitch i cheated on her with was hispanic the other bitch i talked to was hispanic the other bitch i talked to was hispanic and my last girl before i left was hispanic so it's like fuck i mean of course i was fucking with other bitches but like the bitches i was cuffing nothing but mexican or Hispanic. So when I first came, I was fucking with this little thing named Jocelyn. Little Hispanic thing. Little mommy. Little short. I mean, you know, I'm short, so like, she's short as fuck. So like, I was fucking with her. And I seen this Mexican with this, this donkey on her, boy. She had a... Mm. So immediately, my attention... I'm 16, nigga. My attention is off that other bitch. I'm on this bitch. So I'm not fucking with her. Y'all gonna hear about her in another story time. I might do that shit tonight. Because actually, that shit just made me think about it. Fuck that bitch. Anyways, I fucking with her. So I stopped talking to her now. All right. So, like, this is how I go. I go to the park one day. Me and my homeboy, G. We walk to the park. All right? So me and my homeboy G walk to the park. It's this little Hispanic thing there. And it's fat bitch. So this Hispanic thing. No, 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 I lie. 
I went to go check this nigga about stealing my little cousin iPhone. My cousin Jalen, they choked his ass out and stole his iPhone. I went to the park. I'm looking for the nigga. Looking, looking. All right. I walk down the street. I see the nigga with a bitch and a black nigga. Okay. So he walk up. Yo, I heard you looking for me. You want to fight. I was like, no, nah, I'm trying to shoot the fuck happened with Jalen. I did bitch out. I was scared. I was like, no, nah, I'm trying to see what happened with Jalen. Like, he said, uh, you choked him out and took his iPhone. He was like, nah, I didn't do that, bro. I don't got his iPhone. So he got his shirt off. The bitch with him. Her knees is dirty. I'm not even thinking at the time. We're going to come back to why her knees was dirty. <laughs> okay. So we all walked to the park. What not. We talking to shit. White nigga leave. Black nigga leave. It's just me, a fat bitch, G, and the Mexican girl. So the Mexican girl leave. And I'm like, hey. I tell the black bitch, hey. Who that is? Oh, that's my best friend, Paola. So I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Hey, that thing bad. So I was like, hey, call her back to the park. So I, I she called she call her. She, I don't think she had a phone that time, so she called her mama. And she's like, can Paola, da, da, da. So I walk. Meet her by her house. G coming with me, too. He on some hoe shit. Like, he on some cock blocking shit type shit. So, like, so we get her. We walking back to the park. And I'm just talking to her, you know. I'm light, lightly just flirting and shit, you know. Shit that a nigga like me do. So I'm lightly flirting. You know, G, he doing too much. He trying to grab one of her ass. He trying to do this, do that. I'm like, yo, calm down, nigga. This not how you get him, bro. So we walk in. We get to the park fine. So, all right, you know, I'm doing my thug this and I'm flirting, I'm flirting, I'm flirting. I think it was like a Friday night. So, it's this little shit in my area called an amphitheater. It's like an outside theater where you go and watch movies and shit. So, um, yeah, Just go there. You know, no, I'm flirting with Shardy. So, now she fucking with me. Now, I don't ask her out. We talk or whatever. So, now, I'm like, oh, yeah. So my house too far. I'm not walking back to get dressed. So we already all agree we're going to meet at the amphitheater. They're going to meet us there. And me and G going to go to his crib. So like we went to his crib. He gave me some of his clothes. Keep in, keep that in mind. I took that nigga clothes and still bagged, him, uh, bagged the bitch. Excuse me. So listen. We get to the motherfucking amphitheater. I, no, we ain't even had no ride. First of all, we didn't have a ride. And it wasn't Friday night because I spent the night at that nigga house. So we ain't had no fucking ride. So, like, bro, we stopped the officer down. We was like, can you take us to the amphitheater? She was like, hold on, let me ask my boss. So, she get on the radio. Da, 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 da. She could take us. So, now we had to escort. So, my cousin Jalen, like, he mad type shit. And tell him, like, oh, yeah. He like, bro, that bitch sucked my dick behind the building. I'm like, man, this little nigga hating. Hey, fuck that shit. This little nigga hating, bro. So, we get an escort to the motherfucking amphitheater. We get there. All right, so it's like a little bit of daytime. It's getting dark. So, like, they get there. All right, me and Shorty, we go find us a little seat or whatever. Bro and the, the big bitch come with us. So, like, we sitting for a minute. So, I'm like, man, I'm not feeling this shit. So, it's dark now. We go into the woods. You know, it's like a little walk path. So, like, it's not like we was there by ourselves. And we just get them making out and shit. You feel me? So, now we making out. We've been making out, like, bro... Mexican bitches can make out for a long time. Listen, anyway, so we get to making out. We making out for a long ass time. We just kissing and kissing and kissing and kissing. So finally, this little nigga that I went to alternative school with named Dawu, he's like, Diego? I'm like, yeah, what's up, little Dawu? He's like, bro, don't be kissing her, bro. She a hoe. She a hoe. She suck dick. I'm like, bro, this nigga tripping, bro. Why this little nigga? Why everybody keeps saying that? So, all right, I'm making out with this bitch. I'm making out with this bitch. I'm making out with this bitch. So, like, finally, the movie over and shit. Courtney come up. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to say her name. The girl come up. <laughs> the big bitch come up. And, uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? She get the talking and shit. Yeah, you know, la da 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 So, like, her mom coming to get them. All right. So, now it's time for me to get picked up. So, I'm, this nigga, G, I'm supposed to be going home with him, right? This nigga, we, I'm looking for this nigga, calling this nigga, he not answering, he not answering. The bitch is like, oh yeah, no, the uh, black girl, she like, 
oh, he left already. He left with so and so. I'm like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get home? So, you know what? I'm not even tripping no more at this point. So, like, now I'm cut it over shorty. Like, she holding on to my dick. Like, she's standing frontwards. I'm right behind her. So, like, you know, my dick's small as shit. So, like, she's still cuddling on that shit or whatever. We still kissing and shit. So, Courtney, mama come. They're like, oh, yeah, you got back away. Your mama not about to play that shit. Boom, boom, boom. So, boom. They leave. Now, it's only me, nigga. The amphitheater shut down and everything, bro. So, I'm like, oh, man. What the fuck this nigga G done did? Call his name. Call his nigga. He not answering. I'm like, man, what the fuck? So, I call his mama. I walked to the elementary school. It's like right next to this theater. Walked to this elementary school. I'm like, yeah, how you doing, Miss uh, Simmons or uh, whatever? This Diego, I'm supposed to be, I think G, like he caught a ride with somebody. I think he's sleeping or whatever. He not answering the phone. It's like 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock. <sighs> so now I'm like, man, fuck. I sit here, it's an ass of police sitting in the fucking parking lot too. And like, I'm this little fucking brown ass nigga just outside this motherfucking elementary school. So now, all right, so she come get me, right? All right, she come get me because she just had to get off work. When I called her, she was still at work. She was like, okay, baby, just give me till so-and-so and I'm coming. She come get me, take me back to G house, smack the fuck out of G when I get in there. It's like, why the fuck you left me? Then he went back to sleep. I went to sleep. Woke up the next morning, bro. All right, I barely remember shit. Like, I'm just like, man, I, I think I got high or something. We got high. And I'm like... Damn, bro, that shit was lit last night. Then I was fucking with a bitch. He's like, yeah, payola. So now, I'm going to Jalen, my cousin Jalen house. No, G was sleeping still. All right, so I go to Jalen house. My cousin, he lived right next to G. They live in an apartment complex. So I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? He's like, nah, man, you was kissing that bitch payola. I'm like, who the fuck is payola, bro? He's like, that Mexican bitch. I'm like, oh, shit. He's like, bro, she sucked my dick. He's showing me and shit. I'm, it's not videos. It was like text messages. I'm like, what the fuck? By the way, keep in mind, this bitch told me that my cousin had the biggest 12-year-old dick she ever had. Shit crazy. I go in there, I wait, smack G. Hey, what happened last night, bro? He's like, bro, you was just, you and Paolo was making out all night. I had just left, bro. I was bored. I'm like, bro, why the fuck? Like, whole time, back. She had dirt on her knees. She just came from sucking dick. I didn't even know. She just came from sucking dick. The white nigga that I was about to go check about, about, about beating my cousin up, she just got done doing that nigga in. I'm like, oh man. I smacked the fuck out of G one more time and I go and wash my fucking out, mouth out with mouth wash. And at this point, after that, I sat down and realized, and as I got old, it's like, who ain't suck dick? Well, not niggas. What bitch ain't suck the nigga dick? What bitch ain't did this with a nigga? So it's like, after a minute, I didn't even give a fuck. Cause like she was giving me the attention I wanted, and we was thugging. So, anyways, we was going out for a little week or two, three weeks, so and so. So like, finally, I dumped the bitch. So like, after I dumped the bitch, I ended up going out with my last girlfriend I had in hand. So, anyways, I dump her. So now, I, I get a call. I'm home. Get a call. I'm in the bathroom. Yo, this Cadell nigga, hey, listen, don't you show your face. Yeah, I heard you was talking shit about me. I'm like, yo, what? When the fuck I talk shit about you, bro? Because the bitch called me and said, yeah, Cadell and them is behind me. They've been following me. It's a group of them. I'm like, okay. So I wouldn't even talk shit about them, though. Like, that was my man's. Like, even though I was about to check on my still my cousin's phone, like, y'all don't, that was my man's. Like, we went to alternative school together. We was cool and we was thugging. That was my man's. So, like, he called me. I'm like, what the fuck? So then this fucking big ass deep voice come on. Yeah, nigga, don't you walk past this park. I'm like, oh shit. So listen, I ain't no bitch though. So listen, I walk to G house, but I take another way. So now, like, it's me. No, this was Monday. It was a Monday. It was me, Chinese G. It's this Chinese motherfucker, and his name G too. So Chinese G and then G, my homeboy. So we walking past the park. I walked past the first time. It wasn't there. I'm walking back to go to my house. They're there. They said, oh, there go Diego. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So nigga like, nah, come over here. Come over here, nigga. I'm like, oh, man. So me and bro was supposed to shoot the ones. 
So we were shooting the ones, and I think, like, his pinky jam or my pinky jam. And I was like, hold up, bro. This shit hurt. He was like, hold up, bro. You jammed my fucking finger. So now, before we fought, they was like, either you're going to shoot the ones or you're going to get jumped. You're going to shoot the ones or I'm going to beat your ass. This big black motherfucker. His name's Sadiq. Shout out to him, though. Now, he done changed his life, but he was about to tear my ass a new one. All because this bitch was lying, bro. Talking about I was talking shit. And I really wasn't. She got me jumped because I broke up with her ass. So, anyways, it's water under the bridge now. Fuck with everybody. So, anyways, them boy. So, me and so now I'm like, yeah, nah, bro. I already shot the fade with him. It's pinky jam on my pinky jam or something. They're like, nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. So, now this big ass nigga trying to pick me up and shit. He trying to slam me and shit. I'm like, oh, hell nah, bro. So, this Mexican nigga named Oscar. Hey, shouts out to you, Oscar from Hanahan, nigga. You know who you is. Shout out to you. That nigga helped me, bro. He helped me. He ain't fight them niggas. He was just like, yo, I'm about to call the police. Or no. No, he didn't say that. I'm bugging. He didn't call the police. He's like, yo, you good? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm good, bro. He's like, hey, leave him alone, bro. So I get to running, bro. As soon as they looking at him, I get to running, nigga. I run across the street. I'm in the middle of the street. It's a car coming. An old black man. I'm like, yo, please, drive me to the light. Drive me to the light. Drive me to the light. Nigga trying to slam me in people's yard. I'm like, yo, drive me to the light. I'm going to run home. Chinese G, I mean G, my homeboy, he dapped these niggas up right before they did that to me. So I'm like, oh man, this Mexican nigga named Oscar helping me out before anybody. So shout out to Oscar, boy. Listen, so I'm running, I get in the car. He take me down to the light. I'm like, thank you, sir. Bam. I wait for the light to change. <clears throat> I start dipping. I'm bending home, nigga. And I guess the people yard that they tried to slam me, it was across from the park. So I ran across the street. They was in the yard, and he was like, get out of here, out of here. I'm calling the police. I'm like, I stopped the old man in the middle of the road. I'm like, yo, take me down the street, please. I run, I get home. No, I'm halfway home. I'm going through this little cut. Police stop me. <clears throat> so I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, it, guess who in the car? Guess who in the car? The same nigga who watched me get fucked up. Gee, so like, he's sitting in the car. He's like, yeah, that's my friend. You good, bro? You good? He got my jacket or some shit. And he described the niggas to the, to the police. I'm like, yo, this nigga's tripping. I wasn't even going to say that. I was going to run home and keep it pushing like that. So anyways, they asked me if I'm good. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I don't know nothing. Um, No, no. So we get to my house. They tell my mom. My mom, she tells them, yeah, there's this little white boy with red hair named Cadell. I'm like, oh, fuck. See, I wasn't even going to say nothing. I was cool. Like, they didn't really beat my ass. Like, it wasn't... <clears throat> <clears throat> like they ain't fucked me up Like I almost did get stomped out And I almost did get slammed bad But luckily I could hold my own So I dip So they ain't really just shit to me I wasn't hurt I wasn't injured So like my mom She tell them man So like Boom And that's just how that went And after that like I still end up talking to this bitch again Like I was talking hella shit about her But then I end up Fucking with her again She went out with this one nigga Just to piss me off So like She's clearly she had a vendetta for me. She wasn't fucking with me. But now, I'm cool with everybody, man. I fuck with everybody, bro. I have no problems with none of them. I can still hit Cadell to this day and be like, what's up, bro? Sadiq, I never really talked to him, but I guarantee you if I saw him in the, in the street, we would laugh about this shit. Like, that shit was funny. Me and Cadell, we would laugh about this shit. That shit is funny. Old girl, if I seen her, and I was like, yeah, you remember when you got me jumped? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was some funny shit, yeah. We would laugh about it, bro. It's funny. Like, it's not a big deal. It's good, though. I'm good. Everybody good. You feel me? And that's just how it is. You feel me? So, like, and that's just what it was. So, after that, everything went back to normal, nigga. I fucking went to school. It was cool. Nothing happened. Saw them boy, and it was just water under the bridge. Like, I had a grudge for a minute, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But I was cool on that shit. But that's the end of this story time, man, on how I got stomped the fuck out over a thotty. And, you know, listen, if she do watch this video and the other big, the black bitch watch this video, listen, it's all entertainment. If I'm calling you a thotty, listen, it's just because that's what motherfuckers was telling me. So if you're not a thotty, okay, don't come in my, don't text me, be like, nigga, what the fuck you was talking shit about me? I'm going to send this nigga to shoot you. Chill chill it's just youtube it's my story time my perspective on the story thank you thank you thank you thank you shout out to oscar again my boy thank you i'm gonna send you this video anyways and how i found out that she had, did that because she got me jumped because i broke up with her my homeboy sean he ended up telling me like he was on the phone with her one time 
and she and she told him that shit. So that that's how I found out. But y'all like, comment, subscribe, stay tapped in, man. I'm about to do another story time for y'all, and then I got some shit to talk to y'all about, and that's about it, man. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'm out this bitch. I need a girl to suck my dick. I need a girl to make me rich. I need a